Okay, as promised, this is the spring update. As you can see, the system is kind of bare now. There's no more greens left. I put them up about a few weeks ago because it's getting hot and so all the greens start to bolt on me. Um, so most of the bed now is just clear and I'm starting to uh, plant in some new, uh, new seeds. And they're growing but it's a slow process once the seeds start. Uh, once the seeds start growing and then you know it get a little better, then it'll get really really fast. But right now though, it's just starting out, so it's okay. Um, let me see here. So this here is my cucumbers here too and here too. And in a month or two, you see all this here will be just like greens, just full of like a green wall. Because they will start growing pretty well too. Uh, down here is where I start my seeds. So I'm still doing that, so that's pretty good too. But the one I want to I want to tell you guys, I promise you to tell you guys, is the hydrocyclone aeration, I guess. So this is what it is. You can see, you can see all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. <laughs> so this is what this is what I do. I saw the clip from a guy in Hawaii, and he he said, "Why not try this for aquaponics?" So I'm like, "Okay, let's give it a try." So this is how it works. <clears throat> There's two pump here. Here's the two small pumps. I think it's a 35 watt pump, each of them. So, we'll pump up to the fish tank. Pump to the fish tank. Here's my fish tank. Okay, you can see the pump up here. And here too. Pump up in here too. Okay. Okay, so this is what I do. When it pump, the water will go down. And you see this pipe here? This pipe here is connect all the way down to the bottom of the tank. So the water the, the poop water will go up. Okay, it will go up. You can see. And then it will go out here. Well out, out here, <coughs> we go to a uh, uh, new filter where I have this here this here is this net here so this is like a paint strainer and then I just use this I'll put it on put on like this okay while it's in here of course while it's inside the five the five gallon bucket so it's strained out all the big solid okay so all the small solids will get out here and then here in here I have pads I cut small padding I have a ton of them actually and then down there as you can see all the way down there I have two of the five gallon tank strainer tied into this five gallon bucket that will strain out even more of any small solid that's remained so the only water to come out to this tube here is clean water actually pretty much like pure white clean water from any poop and from there it go down to here and I bought all this stuff like this is like $10 this is like $5 um, from here it go down all the way to here from this pot here you can see the pit this pot here it is flowing this way not out here or anywhere, it's just flowing alongside the wall. And that will create a swirl. Okay? And if you can see this can this container here is a trash can, but it's like a comb trash can. You don't want it just to be a flat down trash can. You want it to have a little comb into it. So when it flows, it push your water, it push your water all around here. And they, and they create a actually a vortex. Create a vortex, suck in all the air, mix it with the water, and push it down. But as you can see though, there's actually a hole down here. 
harder. It's harder to me. That's a whole like that's all air. That's a, that's just a hole through it all the way down. Well, it's just go all the way down. When I go down, come out here, it creates like uh, a cone shape too. But this cone shape, though, as you can tell, the water is really, really thin. The water is really, really thin. So that give it more time to mix with the air more volume to mix with the air and even when you see down here when it splash when it splash it can create more oxygen because of that splash action and the and the if you can see the bubble is really really small and fine and all this stuff is pretty much free i mean i use a venturi before and what i found about venturi is that they slow down your flow rate very very like a lot and you want and I don't want as much water from the sump tank to go into my fish tank as possible because down here is clean clean water so if I put a venturi I, I used to put a venturi right here and right here where I go into a tank but that would slow down the flow so that's not really good I tried that it's not really good and I like I thought this like why not try this I mean it's simple and easy with this way I have a much water from the sump tank flow into my fish tank and down here it's really the water is really cool and cold so in the summer it's really good for the fish and then when it flow down all the oxygen mix into the water and then the pump is right below that to pump into the fish tank so the cycle is just repeat itself does that this is pretty much free pretty much free and you just use this and I mean now my fish is really really happy I do have a small pump here, but I don't think I even need those pumps actually. But I just put it in just to put it in. But I know for sure I don't need that pump. I know my my oxygen in the water is really really high. I mean, free water, free oxygen. Just all the water swirl mixed with the air down here. I love the action down here. You can tell down here. That's amazing. I mean, it's split up the water and make a really thin fine wall. And then it when it hit the lot, when it hit the sump, it's like you can see all that bubble. And that's pretty much free oxygen. Free, free oxygen. As promised, I will describe you guys what, what my system is about with this filter here. And my um, and uh, this one is called a, a hydro cyclone. So easy and simple. This is a one gallon tank strainer into uh, the, I don't know what it's called, but you hook it into, you plug into the, the, the pipe there, and then all the water, all, all the water, all of the water, the, the water from here, will go into here, right? And then it's straining all the big sides. You can see this is really dirty. You just need to wash it every three or four days, and man, let me tell you, it is really, really dirty. And that's how you know it's working. And I changed, I mean, every six months, every four months or so, I would take this out and I will clean this out. But I mean, it's easy to clean out. You just, you just take it out, pretty much take it out. And so the best part I like is this here. It makes your job to clean the tank so easy. Every few days, you just go out, you take a bucket of water, you put this in, you mix it, and there you go. You got a new clean tank strainer. Put it back in again. And then every, every, every few days or so, I mean, and I, I can guarantee you the bucket, the clean water bucket you, before you put this in and after you put it in, it's like dirty. And that's good because I use that water for my plants in my garden. So it's a win-win thing. So this is how it is. Just put it in. And I'm doing this with one hand. So you can, if you can, you can think about it. If I have, if I have two hands. Oh man, it's really, really fast. Put it in, right? Done. That's it. Take it out clean. Take it out. Take it out this. Put it into a five gallon bucket. Swirl a little bit, clean up a little bit. And you're good to go. And that's it. If you guys have any questions about this kind of filter, just shoot me your questions. I mean, I bought all this stuff here. The five gallon bucket is pretty much for free. This one here I bought for like $10, just a regular trash, uh, 
trash can, regular trash can. This one's also a trash can too, but it's like a cone shaped trash can. Even cheaper, it's like eight, I think five to eight dollars. I forgot, I bought it a while ago. And there you go. Free oxygen. Pretty much free oxygen. I mean, perfect. Just perfect. If you have any questions, just shoot me up. Here's just a small tool. Here, let me show you around the greenhouse. Oh, look at this here. See strawberry. Strawberry growing here. The root, you want to look at the root mass? It's crazy down there. So I'm about to eat a strawberry pretty soon. So slowly. That's it guys. If you have any questions, and I hope this helped. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, shoot me up. And so that is the filter. It is amazing. Thank you guys. Bye.